I should start looking at girls' toys a little more often. This little girl, loose, loose, mind you, sold for sh the thrift store looking for toys galore my name is burp and this is my turf i'm straight out of the thrift store hey what's up it's your boy burf and i'm on the other side of town today i'm over in irving texas at texas thrift big tex thrift and uh got a late start this morning it's a little after 10 they opened at 9 but uh one of my subscribers has also become a friend of mine uh mr goodwin mr keith goodwin uh he was here yesterday and he said and uh he was like uh he hunts for more vintage stuff like true vintage stuff and he was like they had some action figures and stuff there stuff that you might be interested in but nothing i was interested in so I thought, you know, why not head on over here and check it out? It's been a couple of months or so, maybe even more, two, three months since I've been to Texas Thrift. It's been a little while, let's just put it that way. So um, I'm gonna head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe they got some good, good stuff for your boy Burf. Maybe I'll find some vintage. You know, Keith was here yesterday, didn't see anything vintage, but you never know. Every day is a new day. So we're gonna hit this up and then we're gonna hit up Goody Wheel, which is right next door. And then Thrift Giant, which is right next door to that. So it's just like, boom, boom, boom. So let's head in there, fingers crossed. As always, Thrift Gods be good to me today. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy. Texas Thrift, here I come. Well, we got lots of bags on the wall today, so let's see what kind of goodies we can find in these bags. Anything good. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's an interesting looking figure. It's like a, a panther or something like that. Almost looks like He-Man. And we got some sort of dragon miniature in there. Oh, there's like a little Godzilla. A little mini Godzilla. And we've got a Marvin Martian and an Iron Man in this bag. It's kind of cool. And I don't know who that dude is. And we've got a bag of army men, little green army men with an army guy action figure. And some other action figure. Oh, what's this? Yeah, check out that carpet all. That looks cool. I think I'll grab that. And check this out. It's like a weapons pack. Oh, there's a uh, Polly. That's Shipwreck's parrot. All right. And then we got some other weapons in here. This looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. All right. Well, let's grab this pack. These uh, weapons packs and stuff and accessories can be worth a little something something and what do we got here what is that figure looks like he's got some articulation i'm not sure who he is is that like a pen a ben 10 maybe but there's also this imagine next all right let's grab this bag too and then we've got this wall tumbler which is uh guardians of the galaxy and we've got this guy, this action figure. It looks like he's got all his parts and then some sort of dinosaur. Kind of like the look of that. And then I just found this bag of Charlie Brown. I have this one here with the kite already. Um, found him in a thrift store as well. Found him at Craptastic Sam's. But uh, we've got some other Charlie Brown. Looks like there's a Linus McDonald's toy in there. Oh, nice. And then we got this little pack of figures here. All right, let's 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 snag this. Hey, it's Peppermint Patty. What else is in here? La La Loopsy. And then we got this 12 inch Wonder Woman. I'm gonna pass on that. Oh yeah, they want seven bucks for that, dang. 
And then there's this bag of Transformers. But uh, there's this one right here. It almost looks like an Insecticon, maybe a more modern version of it. Oh yeah, what's down here? We got a Power Ranger, we got a Soldier Force. Power Ranger's kind of cool. Yeah, check out these shelves. Like they're pretty bare. A lot of baby toys over here. There's nothing good on the shelves. Those bags were really our best option here today. Hey, check out this Yoda mask. It uh, looks like it's never been worn. How much did they want for it here? Six dollars. Let me look this up on eBay. Hey, check this out. It's Chewbacca. I'm pretty sure Chewbacca and Han Solo is what, well, I don't know. That one, that dude's got a beard. They kind of look like they're in Han and Chewie's outfits. Of course, these pieces do come off, right? So, and we can pull the nose off this guy. Now we can dress them up like Han and Chewie if we wanted to. Kind of fun. All right, so picked up a few scores. Put a few things back on the shelf too. But uh, what we'll do is we'll head to the car. We'll do a quick little show and tell. And then we'll head on over to Goody Wheel and see what they got. All right, so this is the crew that I ended up getting. So I ended up getting this guy. He's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure from 2013. The only thing with this guy is that he's actually missing his tail. So I'm gonna have to see if maybe I can pick that up on eBay, but I thought it was really cool. I don't know his name necessarily, but I knew he was TMNT of some sort. Didn't know exactly whether he was more modern or, you know, from the early 2000s or something like that, but turns out he's like 2013, but super cool. I also picked up these Ben 10 figures. Uh, I think it's uh, Rock Shock and Overflow. And these guys sell for about 12 to 15 bucks a piece on eBay loose. So I grabbed those guys as well. I also got the Black Power Ranger, which I haven't been able to find him yet on eBay to know what type of value he brings. And then there's this Soldier Force figure, which I already have. And then I got this guy, this T-Rex. And uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember. I just looked up the name of it. It is a Cyber 2019 Cyber Group Studios. I'm not exactly sure what line of toys this is from or if it's from a cartoon but I'm gonna have to do a little research into him, but he's pretty heavy. He's got some real weight to him. So I thought he was really cool. So this is, these are the action figures that I uh, picked up out of those bags. And then I ended up getting this bag of accessories that has a lot of TMNT accessories in there with a little GI Joe. And like, check this out. It actually has the mask. Uh, this guy, um, one of the TMNT figures I have uh, has a disguise and it's this mask that you put on him and uh, that was in this bag so I've got that mask which is oftentimes hard to find it's something that got lost a lot it is vintage and then where did I see him oh yeah and then we got Polly shipwrecks parrot which I thought was really cool and then there is like a uh, here it is and then we've got this like Shogun warrior type uh, helmet for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well. So this bag actually has quite a few of really cool accessories. And you know, some of these accessories just alone can sell for 10, 15 bucks just for, you know, like this mask. Like again, this is something that got lost a lot so I could probably sell that mask alone for $10. Uh, that's one of the things I like about accessories and weapons packs and stuff like that is that if you can find them, they're a little gold mine. Oh look, and there's like some sort of uh, like television or something like that, but the, the turtles change out on it depending on which way you move it. I forget what that's called. Uh, there's a certain kind of name for that, but anyway, 
pretty cool pickups. You know, we spent about 15 bucks. So, um, you know, that weapons pack alone, gosh, I mean, this accessory pack, if I wanted to, I could probably list these things and probably make a cool hundred bucks just off the weapons pack alone. So let's head on over to Goody Will and see what kind of goodies they got. And maybe we can score a little vintage. We already got some vintage today, but we're gonna put a little more vintage on the mind because what you think about is what you bring about. Your most dominant thought is what becomes manifest in the real world. All right, let's head over to Goody Will. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> All right, what you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Let's see if we can find some good stuff. Keith said he didn't really find anything in here yesterday either. And I don't think he actually, well actually he did check Thrift Giant. But we'll head over to Thrift Giant, which is that building right there. So you can see it's just like Goodwill's, or uh, Thrift, uh, Texas Thrift is over there. Goody Will, Thrift Giant, boom, boom, boom. All right, fingers crossed, Thrift Gods, be good to me today. Actually, I meant to say, Goodwill Gods, be good to me today. Gotta make sure you're always praying to the right gods, right? All right, well, let's see what they got on the shelves today. Oh, this is cool, this foosball table. Any action figures? Uh, what's this down here? I don't know what that is. It's kind of neat looking. Looks like it's got uh, some sort of hook or crane. And then it's got these like Dr. Octopus, like these Doc Ock type of antennas or uh, tentacles on there. It's an interesting looking figure. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we're definitely picking this up. That is super cool. Oh yeah, look at the artwork on the back of that. It's actually in really good shape. Does it have a year on it? What year is this from? I don't see a year on it, but yeah, we'll definitely pick this up. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There's another toy hunter. He was just there in uh, Goodwill. I got the drop on him though. Got this stuff before he got to it, but he's in his car right there. And he might be going over to Thrift Giant, so we gotta get there before he does. So we'll do a little show and tell after Thrift Giant. That guy right there. So he's probably on his way to Thrift Giant. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> and we beat that guy here. So let's hope that Thrift Giant has some goodies for us. You know, it's like, good thing I changed up that prayer at the uh, at the Goodwill, you know? Said a little prayer to the Thrift Gods when I should have been saying a prayer to the Goodwill Gods. I switched gears and it worked out for us. All right, well, let's head in here. Thrift Gods, be good to me today. All right, well, let's see what kind of goodness we can find on the shelves here. Check out this Scooby-Doo pirate play set that's fun and then what do we got over here we got a hulk huh well, that's kind of a neat oh we got him and an iron man I might just grab both of these guys is there a price on them oh yeah dollar 99 dollar 99 all right well let's snag these guys anything down here oh, there's a big box of golf balls i heard those actually sell pretty well on ebay and what do we got here Got some bags of stuff. Looks like doll accessories. We've got a Tigger toy. Nothing we really want though. And anything here? We got some games. This looks like some motorcycle stuff. Maybe Paw Patrol or something. I don't know. What's under here? Nothing. Looks like we got a lot of junk on the shelves today. Nothing really cool. Well, here's a Spider-Man. Always find our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in the thrift stores. It's cool. I already have them though. And 
what do we got here? We got a strawberry shortcake. Berry best friend. Might actually look that up. Oh, here's a, uh, a pound puppy. Nice. Classic 80s collection. I think these are the new ones they released. Yeah, 2019. That's fun though, man. I had I had a pound puppy when I was a kid. So did my brother. I should start looking at girls' toys a little more often. This little girl, loose, loose, mind you, sold for $69. Apparently she's really rare, this blueberry muffin. And I can pick her up for $3.99. Talk about a super score. <laughs> oh my God, dude, that's freaking nuts. That is nuts, man. All right, I'm totally getting this, hands down. I don't care if I'm a dude or not. This thing is awesome. I might even just, I mean, if she's that rare and already wore, this is from 2014, selling for like 69 bucks, loose. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could even hold on to her for a little bit and maybe in a couple of years try reselling her at a higher price. I don't know. I might just try and flip her right away, but that's pretty sweet. Oh, check this out. Somebody donated their gift. It says, thank you for your partnership on the pan load test project, 2017. Eric Walton. I don't know what that's all about. And then there's this uh, Constantin puzzle game, hidden corridor, that's kind of cool. An Activision piece right here. And then we've got like this Triceratops, uh, Triceratops, Triceratops monster truck. I'm not gonna get this, but this thing is pretty badass. Looks like we got another Activision piece here. And we've got some sort of 12 inch Marvel figure, I think. Check out this Maleficent. That's actually really cool. She's got a little pink spot on her nose. I wonder if that'll rub off. I might actually get this. This is really cool looking. Man, I'm just into girls toys today, I guess. Yep, just saw her selling on eBay for $34, so I'm picking her up. All right. Well, we scored some good stuff out of there, man. Yeah. I'm on that jazz. I'm on that money jazz. Cause that stuff that I picked up can all be flipped. I've decided I'm gonna flip the blueberry muffin. I'm not gonna hold on to her. I'm gonna flip the Maleficent. I'm not gonna hold on to her. So I probably got a hundred dollars right there, and I only spent 13 bucks for everything. So let's get in the car. We'll do a quick little show and tell, and then we'll wrap things up. Okay. So first up. We're gonna start with the Goodwill scores that we didn't get a chance to look at. This is Gen 13 Wildstorm action figures. Fairchild is what it says. Fairchild created by Jim Lee, Brandon Choi, and Scott Campbell. All right, very cool. I don't know anything about this, but I thought the figure was really neat. And I'm gonna have to see if I can get that sticker off her face. I hate it when they do that but uh yeah man this thing is really super dope and then we picked up this bad boy this rescue heroes dive bot super cool action figure he's got this hook i guess he dives underwater he's like some sort of robot or something like that but i love it man this thing has some real weight to it too boy i mean this thing is is heavy it probably weighs Oh gosh, I'm gonna say maybe half a pound or a little more maybe. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Check it out, he's got a little wear, a little wear on his paint, but overall, it's really a fantastic figure. Next up, we'll start off with some of the things I picked up from Thrift Giant. For those of you that don't know me, I actually love yo-yos. So I saw this yo-yo, I've got a few yo-yos at the house, I play with them all the time. And uh, I thought this was cool. It looks like it might actually glow in the dark, possibly. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Nah, I think it's just got that fluorescent color to it. But uh, this thing is awesome, man. Can't wait to play with it. We snagged Blueberry Muffin, who's selling for like 70 bucks loose. 
So who knows how much I could get for her being that she's in the package. Her box does have a little wear up here at the top. It's uh, kind of cracked a little bit. But uh, the bubble itself is intact. It doesn't appear to be, well, there's a dent right there. But, you know, I could probably end this uh, in the, on the card like this. I'm guessing maybe I could squeeze 90 to 100 bucks out of her if, she, if she's actually that rare and selling loose at $69. So these are the other girls in the series. I'll have to clean that $399 up a little bit. But super sweet score. I did end up picking up the Hulk and the Iron Man. And I think these are like rock'em sock'em robots. I think his head goes down. And then when you flip these guys around, they have these little things here where you can insert your fingers. And I think when you punch him, ugh, ugh. anyway, <laughs> uh, I think their heads pop up or something like that. Let me, let me grab this guy. Ugh. Whoa, here we go. Yeah, so I think there's some sort of rock'em sock'em robots. I thought they were cool. They're a buck 99 each, so I'll just add them to my collection. And then last, but certainly not least, I got this Maleficent. I tried just uh, taking, a little, taking a little spit and uh, cleaning that little pink spot off her nose. It didn't work so well, so I'm gonna go home and try a little harder with her. But like I said, she was selling for like 34 bucks, loose, just like this. And she's absolutely gorgeous, so. I'm going to clean her up a little bit and then try to flip her. Well, that ends today's toy hunt adventure, today's thrift store toy hunt adventure. If you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also, like and comment on this video. Let me know, like, have you ever, uh, I know a lot of my channel is guys 35 to 55 men. Some of you girls out there have told me, hey, don't overlook the girl stuff. So for some of you guys out there, leave a comment if you actually do buy girls toys, especially when they're worth money like that. Like, I'm not going to keep that for myself or anything like that. I'm just teasing. Uh, but I'm not going to keep it for uh, keep it for myself but because uh, I don't collect girls toys. But I will definitely flip it. So let me know if you've ever, what's the most expensive girls toy you ever found? There's a question for us. What's the most expensive girls toy you've ever found in a thrift store if you're a thrifty like myself? So also follow me on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and rock is spelled R-O-C. Man, I'm sweating up. I'm like a mofo in here. Gotta get the air bumping. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.